YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on the Colorado and TCU game. Now, listen, guys, I know I do fantasy football content, but I do do other content during fantasy football season that is kind of like really big news. So, I want to break down a couple of things. I want to talk about Dion. I want to talk about Shadur Sanders. I want to talk about Hunter. And I want to talk about TCU. So, first, let's start off with Dion. Guys, now you see why I am the way I am about my channel. I'm not saying I'm Deion Sanders, but I'm a Deion Sanders when it comes to my players that I pick, how good I think I am in fantasy football. And so when I come at people and I say, well, show me your receipts. A lot of you might say, well, TD, don't worry about that, man. Da, da, da. No, I'm on that. That's what drives me. I, that's why I know all, all of you to comment in the section. Listen, I'm not above anybody chastising me or asking me about something, but I'm going to keep receipts. And that way, if you come and say, hey, man, that's crazy. Then when it hit, I want that same energy. Just like Dion ain't gonna win every single game. I'm not gonna be right on every single player, but I'm gonna be, I'm 75 percent, and uh, Dion gonna be 75 percent probably his whole career even better. I I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Can't really speak for Dion that way. But I love what he did in the press conference. He called all those reporters out. And they go, all right, what are you talking about, man? I'm just doing my job. That's what people do on content. Hey, man, you got a YouTube channel. Why can't you go get mad at what I'm my, my opinion? If you're going to say something, stand on it. It's nothing wrong with you. You can say anything you want too long as you stand on it. That's what the hum that's what being a human is. You can say I, your, your, cha your channel is garbage and stand on that. You're right. I can't say you're wrong. But if you run from it, you just trolling, you're weak, especially as a man. Right? And I'm being, you know, being genuine, it don't matter, man or woman, but I'm just saying, as a human, heart to heart, we call this man to man, you got to stand on what you stand on. So a lot of people don't like my channel. A lot of people didn't like Dion doing what he done for Colorado. A lot of people think that, guys, excuse me, I got to turn it on. It's getting a little hot in here. I'm out in my car at work. So it might actually mess up the mic, and I apologize for that. Let me get a little bit of air in here so my phone don't cut off. So I love what Dion did. Guys, he's been calculated with this. God told him to do something. God told me to, you know, hey, TD, you didn't make it in, you know, professional sports or anything. This is your calling. This is actually even better for me. Dion, probably a better coach and a better leader of men, a man's, men's than he probably is at playing football. And that's big to say because, you know, Dion was a Hall of Famer. I was pretty good in football. I had, a, I was, I was very, I was, um, I was one of the top running backs in North Carolina. But, hey, that doesn't, this is fantasy football and breaking players down. I'm really, really good at that. That's why I'm picking guys like Daniel Jones. So when Daniel Jones hit, I'm not going to chastise my sub guys that believe in me, not even if you agree with me. But, you know, you if you're real, but guys that troll my channel and you come back and try to get stuff, I'm going to call you out. Just like Dion did. So, guys, let's move on. The next thing is Shadur Sanders. Guys, if you're in Devy Leagues, which is like you draft these guys when they enter college, get Shadur Sanders. He's, he's going to be a top five quarterback in the NFL right away. I know you're like, what? Ain't no such thing as a rookie being top. Guys, he's going to be top five. Now, I, now I, might, I could be off maybe if Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow are still there. Other than that, guys, uh, Daniel Jones, he's right around tra Trevor Lawrence. He's around there. Guys, he's mentally his mental ability is already on a pro level because of his father. That's why he's so good. That's why I believe in his team. I'm not saying they're gonna win a national championship, but Shadul Sanders, guys, is probably the smartest quarterback that I ever seen in college in, in college history. And you say, well, TD off one game. Yes, I can see that. That's why I can pick guys like Daniel Jones, and y'all think he ain't done nothing yet. I can pick all these different players that I Jalen Hurts, and he ain't done nothing yet. I can be ahead of it because I my that's just the way I look at the game. So I, when I watched Shadur and how he was on time with everything and how he led his team, uh-oh, the way he led his team, uh-oh, it, it was amazing. So, guys, right now I want y'all be ready for Shador Sanders. So when he coming up, you pick him up. Don't let your other teammates, the guys that ain't watched this video, uh, not teammates, but team, league mates, don't let them draft this guy over you. You, you get this guy. This guy's going to be a monster. He's going to be one of the best quarterbacks ever. I said what I said, as long as he don't get injured or anything. I love the way the guy plays. Travis Hunter, the game is changing. Remember, I've been talking about hybrids. I was one of the first channels talking about the game is getting ready to change. It's, no, it's not going to be any positions. Now, I wasn't necessarily talking about offense to defense, but I was also talking about guys are going to be able to do it all. Running backs going to be playing wide receiver. 
quarterback's going to be running the ball, getting 1,000 yards. The game is going to be different. Quarterback's going to be 230, 240 pounds, like a fullback. Running back's going to look like wide receivers. The game is going to be changing. It's positional. It's just like basketball has already done that. A center what? Look at look at, look at at the number one center this year. What was his name? Rebanero or whatever his name. He out there dribbling like a point guard, pulling up threes. That's what the, the game is changing. A point guard can post up it all. So same thing in football. Running back's going to be catching 100 passes. Receiver's going to be getting 800 yards rushing. So the game is changing. Be ready for hybrid. That's why I like guys like Debo. They don't because I, I didn't draft a lot of Debo. Don't mean that I don't like Debo. Debo is a real football player. It's the way the game should be played. You don't know what I'm gonna hit you with. If I got two Debo's out there, you don't know where they gonna line up at. They don't know what Travis Hunter gonna do. They don't know, what, especially when you have a smart quarterback. I love smart quarterbacks. I don't care about your athletic ability. I care about your knowledge of the game and how you can command your team. Great leader. That's why Pete Curl, one of my favorite coaches. Jimmy Johnson, one of my favorite coaches. And also Bill Belichick. Them boys can adapt quick and they never out of touch with their players. Bill Belichick can chastise Tom and tell Tom he don't like him and then go to Cam Newton and be dancing, doing all kinds of dances with Cam Newton. That's the type of coach you got to be. Mike Tomlin also, I always, I don't be, I don't give Mike Tomlin his fouls. All right, guys, going forward. Make sure before my phone go dead, uh, get hot. Sorry, guys, about the uh, the wind blowing because I got to turn on the air and my phone will quit and stop. All right, so going on to uh, them sell. We talked about Travis Hunter. He's going to be good. Guys, Deion, I don't know if they going to lose a game in the Pac-12. Now, they might not go undefeated, but in the Pac-12, I don't know if they're going to lose a game. No team is, has a better offensive scheme than they got with Shadour Sanders. So even if Alabama was to play these guys or Georgia, yeah, they can probably beat them, but they have to run the ball and slow the clock down. You don't want to get in no shootout with Shadur Sanders. Just like Dion told you, if his son got the ball last, you in trouble. Guys, that's the way I see the game. That's why I, that's why I'm on Shadur Sanders. I, I watched this. I didn't know what he was, but when I watched him, I see his guys. He's special. That's Daniel Jones has that same type of ability. He just ain't had the coaching and the mentality of a of a Hall of Fame coach. If Dan, now Daniel Jones has that with Brian Dayball, and then he's going to evolve just like Shadur Sanders didn't have that all his life. So the, the, Shadir Sanders is ahead of Daniel Jones because of his mentality and also ahead of a lot of other professional quarterbacks in the league outside of Pat Mahomes and Lamar and Joe Burrow. Rest of them all, they still up, they volatile when it comes to some of these young quarterbacks coming into the game. So, guys, I just wanted to talk about this. I love the way Deion is. This is where my channel is built on. I'm, I'm with receipts. People doubted me my whole life. They said I was never going to be nothing. My, my family said I wasn't going to be anything. Everybody always been against me. Always, always, and I'm not trying to trying to play no victim. I'm not no victim. I'm a winner. That's why I'm doing what I, if I was a victim, I just sit around and try to say I'm hurt and collect unemployment and do all kinds of things. I don't care nothing about that. I'm going to be great in life. And that don't mean that I'm better than anybody. That's I'm fighting against me, not anybody else. Like Dion told his team, I'm not fighting. Against, we're not going against TCU. We fighting us. So anybody, don't take that wrong. That's why y'all see I'm always, I got the energy. That's why my channel is cutting edge. I, you know what people always say, why you cutting edge? You ain't giving me no stats. They want, they want uh, Deion to be what? Some type of a uh, different, like that. And I hate to take this to race, but they want him to be a white man talking numbers. He don't need to. He got a different blessing. He can, he, he can look at a player and look at him in his eyes and tell him if, he, if he's ready for his system or if he's going to be like a phenom. Same thing with me. I can watch a player want like a couple series and say, this guy going to be special. So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports. Tomorrow we got some football. Also, guys, I'm going to be hitting y'all with a Stars and Six video coming real soon. And uh, also some more, a couple other little small videos to get you ready for tomorrow's, uh, which is Thursday, and also Sunday. So, guys, I, I want to thank everybody who's signing up for my uh, for my memberships, who's watching my channels. Guys, make sure uh, if you want to support the channel, you sign up as a member. I got four different members. I got the Dollar Crew, and that's just being part of the crew, and you just get your comment read out, no matter if you like ask me to rate your team. But if you try sign up for Pro Bowl or better, uh, you can you come up on my lives. I give it out prizes. I'm choosing certain guys just from randomly, just to, you know, I might give you a shirt, I might give you a jersey, a sign, a helmet, or anything. I'm doing that this year, so you want to sign up for for a member, guys, especially if you want to support uh, the channel. So y'all be safe. Peace.